Boy, I'm wild hairs. Hey you guys, welcome to the Mustached Man YouTube channel. We do fragrance reviews. Um, pretty much all we do actually. I used to say we do like, you know, different like shaving, which we'll, we'll do shaving projects and stuff like that every once in a while. But for the most part, I do cologne reviews here. Don't even have a mustache anymore, which is kind of funny. Um, I probably actually won't have a mustache for a little while. So welcome to the hypocritical YouTube channel. Um, today we're going to be reviewing um, SoCal by Hollister. Uh, my friend gave me this and I owe him a review as of a long time ago, I just never got to it. So, first time tuning in, uh, feel free to like, comment, um, subscribe. It really helps me reach a larger audience um, when you guys do that. So, thank you to everyone who's done that so far. So, today, Hollister SoCal Cologne. Um, still using my phone, haven't gotten a full camera yet. but. Um, what do I think of this guy? First off the bat, great cologne. Um, and just in general, it's, um, I was actually just looking online, I didn't realize it's only 50 bucks. Okay, well, I say only 50 bucks, but it's 50 bucks for 100 mil, um, which isn't like amazing, but it isn't bad either. Um, for, for what you get, I, I feel like I would, if this is one that I went to uh, a lot more, then I, I would pay, probably would pay that. Um, so, uh, I couldn't find any notes anywhere online for this, literally anywhere. I went to Fragrantica, there was nothing there. I went to the actual Hollister website, um, and I actually have it pulled up right here. I can't find any info on what it is. Um, uh, the only thing that I could find was that it is ca uh, classified as an amber fougere, which, Kind of makes sense to me. It's very ambery. Um, I heard someone in the comments say suede, and I kind of can see that a little bit. It's a little leathery. I think there's pineapple in here. There's maybe a tiny bit smoky, um, but not really. Mostly just like pineapple, a little bit of fruitiness, um, but like a like a like a drier to me pineapple and like leather scent. Um, nothing crazy but just a really nice scent for what it is uh, younger ages I would say it's probably geared towards more so um, but I mean I'm 23 I guess I'm still young ish but uh, this this definitely um, could you know creep up into the, the older ages as well but I think it's definitely geared obviously it's Hollister's generally a younger company uh, their products are geared more toward younger people but um, I think it's more so uh, geared towards younger people. Atomizer, I'm not going to spray it on myself because I, I want to try a different cologne today. Um, but so you can see, I don't know if I have the brown in the background up here if you guys can see it better, but it's not. I'll waste a couple more, one more spray. Can you guys see that? Nothing special. Um, it's not a bad atomizer. Uh, better than some of my other ones, especially. Well, actually, I won't, I won't say their name, but it, there's, a, there's a couple of bottles that I have that are really bad atomizers. Not a bad atomizer, nothing to, you know, write home about, though. Um, last, not as long as I would hope. That is the biggest downfall of this fragrance, completely. Um, it's, <laughs> breathing in fragrance. It's, um, it doesn't last as long as I hoped it would. Um, that, that honestly is just the biggest downfall for me. It lasts probably, See, I haven't actually worn it in just a little bit, but um, but it, it lasts maybe like two and a half hours before it starts setting closer to the skin. It's not a very long lasting, at least in my experience, it's not a very long lasting fragrance. Great fragrance um, for what you're you know paying and, and everything, but it just doesn't, doesn't last as long. So if you want a beast mode fragrance, not the one for you. Um, I mean, you could get the 100 mil for 50 bucks, which, that 50 bucks is just from the actual Holler Store website, which is not bad um, for it coming directly from the person manufacturing it um, and the comp or the company selling it. But uh, but still, the, the the fragrance does not last as long, which in some cases has actually been really nice because I have a fragrance to go to that I like. That's that's nice. It's pleasant. Um, a little more youthful, but it doesn't last and project a whole lot. If I don't want to stand out, you know, in a certain situation, boom, casual, good to go set. Um, also, didn't mention that. Kind of a, to me, it seems much more of a casual scent, you know, um, casual, youthful, 
chill. So anyway, SoCal, Hallister, Cologne, um, definitely worth checking out. This was the 30 mil. My friend gave me this. Uh, shout out to, shout out to Fernando. Uh, he's been waiting so long for me to do a review of this. I haven't been on YouTube in a couple months, guys. Sorry about that. Um, but hopefully gonna get start getting some more reviews back out there to you guys. Um, thanks for all the comments that I saw when I finally logged back in. Um, you know, just kind of feels really good that you guys are, you know, um, enjoying the videos. So it kind of gives me motivation to want to do them again. But anyway, shout out to Fernando. Thanks for giving me this bottle to, to review. Um, definitely check it out, you guys. Um, I don't know anyone that's doing decants because it's already such a, you know, uh, lower priced cologne, but um, I, I check out the 30 mil, at least have it in your collection just to try it out. So, all right. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Um, yeah, that's it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.